Hi everyone, welcome to Dr. Tutorial's Quick Learning Bites. In today's Microbiology Quick Learning Bites, I'm going to talk about the cell wall of Mycobacterium tuberculosis. So the cell wall looks like this. At the bottom, we have got plasma membrane or cell membrane. Then we have got peptidoglycan layer which maintains the shape and rigidity of the cell. Then we have got a very special molecule called as lipoarabinomannan which actually acts like a bridge between the cell membrane that is plasma membrane and something else known as arabinogalactin which you can see as orangish blocks in this diagram. Then we have got a very special layer called as mycolic acid layer which is made up of long chain fatty acids. On purpose I have drawn it in pink color because this very layer is responsible for the acid fast nature of MTB and also it is responsible for conferring resistance to MTB to a variety of antibiotics. And the topmost layer contains a variety of lipids, one example of which are mycocytes, which are a type of phenolic glycolipids. Now guys, in this entire diagram, let me focus a little more on lipoarabinomannan. Lipoarabinomannan or LAM is important for two reasons. The reason number one is, it is going to help in the internalization of this organism into the macrophages. Now this happens because macrophages have got receptors decorated on their surface known as mannose receptors and complement receptors. Now both these type of receptors can bind to LAM. Alright, so LAM is going to gain entry inside the macrophage by binding to these receptors. That is number one reason uh, why LAM is important. Secondly, LAM is also going to be very important for MTB because LAM is going to make sure that MTB survives inside the macrophages because LAM inhibits the fusion of phagosome and lysosome because it, it is not going to allow increase in intracellular calcium and also intracellular phosphatidyl inositol 3 phosphate. So basically LAM is going to make sure that MTB lives on inside the macrophages. 